everyone. Uh, May comes uh, in Korea. May is the spring, and it's very warm. And but not for this. But Koreans are very busy and crazy in May. Do you know why? Because in Korea, May is a month of family. So every most of countries has uh, some days like uh, Children's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, or Parents Day, or Couples Day, Teachers Day, blah blah blah, right? But in Korea, we have all this in May, right? So doesn't it sounds wonderful? But not at all in Korea. Peoples are crazy and busy to buy gifts for each other and have a parties, right? So today, Nuna is going to tell you about all one by one. First of all, it's uh, May 5th, it's Children's Day. Uh, the day is a celebrate for children's healthy growing. And because of that, uh, most of parents to buy them gifts and also parents to bring their kids to amusement um, park too. So the kids are very exciting and crazy, right? But what about their parents? They're almost end up because they are so tired. Um, I think uh, it is more peaceful for their parents to be at work, right? Because it's not an easy job to take care of with children or kids, right? So because of that, I have no kids. Of course, I um, am not married or maybe I can't. Next, May 8th is Parents' Day. I think it's a quite unfair because uh, Children's Day is a national holiday but not for Parents' Day. And also, on Children's Day, uh, most of parents, they prepare some expensive gifts for their kids and also they do a lot of things like uh, bringing them to the amusement park or zoo. So they do a lot of things. For What about kids? Usually, um, actually, um, they hand a piece of a carnation for their parents and that's all. Of course, uh, like me, uh, grown up working son or daughter, so we should prepare some gifts for our parents. But actually in Korea, uh, usually most of the working son or daughters, we prepare some cash for our parents. Do you know why? Because actually they don't like gifts, right? They like cash more, they prefer it. And then, um, you know, uh, uh, when we are young, uh, we got presents a lot from our parents for more than 10 years. So now I think it is your turn to pay back, right? And of course, it's not, I think it can't reach for our parents' love a ten, a one tenth of a bit. But anyway, but still though, uh, in my case, I'm a, a little bit hard for giving my parents pocket money. May 15th, Teacher's Day. In old times Korea, uh, students had to prepare the little gifts for their teachers with their thankful heart. It's a very sweet tradition, but it changed like a little gift competition between parents, especially between mothers. So now in Korea, it's abandoned to um, give or hand the little gifts to their teachers in school. And um, maybe you know, but anyway, the Korean mothers really they do care their kids, their babies a lot. Do you know that book, The Hymn of the Tiger Mother? It is a Chinese mother's education essay and it was a huge hit around the world. But in Korean mothers, they are second to none for their kids' education. Third Monday of May is a coming of age day. So it's a celebrate for their 20 year old year, right? And then in Korea, it is a little tradition to give them a rose. So you can see a lot of full of rose standing in front of every college on that day. And then um, it's a quite a bit uh, awkward to say that, but anyway, uh, you might uh, know, you might guess what happened to them on that day, especially on night, uh, when you remind of your after prom party, right? But why not? Because they are grown up now. And there is also married couples day. It's May 21st. Do you know what, what did they do? Actually, they do nothing because they're too busy to take care of their children and their parents, their mother-in-law and father-in-law. As I told you, it's a, a month of family. So married couple had a lot of charges to take care of their family. So instead of that, like many other countries, usually they celebrate themselves on their wedding anniversary, right? So here comes 
maybe if you're a man, as you know, and you should know, if you are, if you were a husband who did nothing on that anniversary, especially on a wedding anniversary day, you can see nothing but angry wife, right? So okay, until now on, I'm going to tell you about all Korean some holidays or some days in May in Korea, right? Um, so I'm going to give you in here. I'm going to give you one little tips to for your better Korean life. If you see a children around you, buy some gifts on Children's Day. You're gonna be loved for their parents. Okay, here's all today, right? See you next time. Bye.